Thank you. Come in, friend. Hi. Hi. I'll just take a look around. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I just I need to write this one word down. One word, and everything will be fine. <laughs> one word. And I'll feel alright, you know? Was something wrong to begin with? Everything is wrong at the beginning. We burst into this world crying, bawling. <laughs> we get slapped in the butt cheeks, for goodness sake. Well, it is rather a rude awakening. Yeah. Coming from the sanctuary of the room. Mm. When was the last time you found set? Hmm. Maybe... Two and a half weeks ago? What's happened since then? I've been back visiting home. You've been back visiting home, as in home is there? Or you're back visiting mm. home, as back in home visiting, is here? Back visiting this home. Okay. I live in Graham's farm. Mm. Good old Graham. <laughs> I wonder what Graham did to have a town named after <laughs> What are you doing here? Right, oh, I was. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. No, no, I'm done. I've got that word. Okay, what was the word? I mean? Heart. Does it fit in with the sentence? No. Oh. Just heart. Standing alone. Do you have heart? Yes. Mm. I think everyone needs to have heart to survive. Without heart, what's the point? And I don't mean love and affection. I mean courage and, and bravery. We all need that. Everyone does something brave at least once in their life. I don't know, sometimes people think that they are brave, but they've never encountered a circumstance that has required them to act bravely. And, and maybe when they do, it's possible that they realize that they're not brave at all and they feel ashamed because they always wanted to be brave. And then you could get another person who um, is the bravest, bravest soul and he never ever encounters an event that requires his bravery and so he never knows this. And are you the judge of bravery? No. I'm no judge. But I do think that everything exists within the person. It may not become manifest in life. Do you aspire to be brave? Are you brave? Do you not know if you're brave? I'm always brave. <laughs> Seriously. I'm always brave. It was brave of me to wake up this morning. It was brave of me to take that shower. It was brave of me to walk the streets. It was brave of me to speak to you. Are you afraid of all these things? I just simply recognize how dangerous they could be. Don't be afraid. Really? Don't be afraid. Mm. Do you feel safer sitting here in the shade of the tree? Yes. This tree doesn't judge me. These leaves don't judge me. The sky definitely doesn't judge me. But it calls to me. Yeah. It says, hello, come, sit, breathe, learn. And that's why I'm here. I like that. I find it difficult to be you in the city. Specify. I don't know. Um, when you walk the streets and anyone is looking at you, mm. do you find it difficult? Like being you? Do you feel? Not as difficult as I find it being me with the people that know me. I think that's always hard. They expect one thing from you, and they get another. And they don't like that. It's, when, when someone who doesn't know me judges me, they don't know me, so I don't care. <laughs> but someone who knows me and judges me, that's just a good thing. That's a little bit. Yeah. 
Are you heading anywhere, Rose? Um, I guess I'm going somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I'm heading back to Grahamstown in a, a few days. That's good. To know that you're going somewhere. Yeah, it will be good to go back. I need more space than the city gives, you know. Physical space? Physical space, mental space. I don't really feel judged by people as I walk in the city or in Grahamstown. But I always crave a kind of space to look outward, you know, to look within. Um, so it can be quite suffocating to be here. You know, I used to feel suffocated when you do. And I, I wish to, to, to be in space. Now. Right up here with the moon and the stars and the sun. And then it occurred to me one day that there are billions of stars. If I am this tiny guy, my small and significant self, feel crowded. How does one tiny star wants to build? Billions. Their life force is so intrinsic to ours, but so different. I mean, they're flaming balls of fire, you know. But does each one know they're unique? I don't know. What if there's a suicidal star out <laughs> there who just wants to fade away because they don't get noticed amongst their brothers and sisters? Well, the stars that we see are actually, many of them are already dead. They just keep burning. I mean, that's like, what do you think happens to us when we die if stars die and they still burn bright enough that we can see them. When we die, what, what happens to our energy? <laughs> I always think that there's some resolution that needs to take place. But I don't think it's easy to resolve things here. What you're talking about sounds like a legacy. It just, it just makes me think of that legacy. You say stars are dead. The stars we see, they still burn. So surely, there must be a point there. There is some kind of legacy to leave behind, surely. Do we even deserve to leave a legacy behind? I saw the most horrendous photograph um, taken a few days ago in France, um, which is why I'm wearing these cat ears. Um, it was a guy holding a lit cigarette and he was going to burn the cat's eye out and he took a photo of it and it's just been going around the internet because obviously people are horrified but I mean you know how can that if they how, how can that live you know is that is that life that sort of nature oh, but, but it is pain is part of life I mean inflicting a pain I don't know it's, it's part, it's part of everyday life. For instance, part of my pain is it's being the skin color, but not acting like it. I'm meant to be this, and I'm that. And that's part of my pain. And I can, I can sit and I can, I can whine all day. Or I can come to the park, let my frustrations out and sink into the, into the warmth and the glory of, of nature and walk away, walk back into that world which, which, which brings me tension and hurt and pain. And I can feel free because I know it's part of life. It's just another challenge. As hurtful as it is, you just got to get on with it. Thank goodness we have the park. Thank goodness we have the park. <laughs> I think anyone, no matter what their reasons are, no matter where they come from, no matter what their conflicts are, they can feel comfortable in the park. You know, there's this unassuming anonymity here. You don't really have to do anything. Would you like this? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Beautiful. It's pretty it's not so safe in Bilberg after that. Okay. Are you headed anywhere? Thank you.